Israel is confirming the death of Hamas leader Yaha Sinwar. He has been credited as the mastermind behind the October 7th attack. Israel is saying this could be the key to getting the hostages out of Gaza. ABC's Rena Roy has that story. He's the mastermind behind the most deadly terror attack in Israeli history. And now Israeli officials confirm they've killed Yahya Sinwar, the leader of Hamas. The Israeli foreign minister releasing a statement saying the master murderer who is responsible for the massacre and atrocities of October 7th was killed today by IDF soldiers. ABC's Tom Sufi Burridge is in Tel Aviv. You can hear and you can see the crowd, hundreds of people gathering outside the IDF headquarters here in central Tel Aviv. That speaks to what a moment it is for Israel, uh, for the families and friends of the hostages still being held in Gaza. In Sinwar's hometown of Khan Yunis in Gaza, people watching television coverage of his death. Israeli authorities saying this is a great military and moral achievement for Israel, adding the elimination of Sinwar creates a possibility for the immediate release of the abductees and to bring about a change that will lead to a new reality in Gaza without Hamas and without Iranian control. President Biden traveling to Germany today, saying in a statement, this is a good day for Israel, for the United States and for the world, adding Israel has had every right to eliminate the leadership and military structure of Hamas. He had American blood on his hands. To any terrorist who kills Americans, threatens the American people, or threatens our troops or our interests, know this, we will always bring you to justice. Israel says Sinwar, a Hamas leader since 2017, took over leadership of the group's political bureau after the assassination of Ismail Haniyeh in Iran in July. Since the October 7th attack, Israeli authorities say Sinwar had been hiding behind the civilian population in Gaza for the past year, above ground and in Hamas tunnels below the Gaza Strip. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu saying tonight that this is an important moment in the war and that this is the beginning of the day after Hamas, telling the people of Gaza this is their opportunity to break free from Hamas's tyranny. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.